Hey, welcome to Symbolic Mind Generation, everyone. Go ahead and hit that like button right now. Go ahead and hit it. Right, right. Today's topic, depression. And how depression leads to violence. Helplessness, helplessness and hopelessness leads to violence. I need y'all to understand. So I'm going to hit y'all with a couple of current affairs. We're going to start off with Mr. Eugene Lamont Sneed down in Alabama in the Mobile area. Babysitting his one-year-old daughter, Royalty. Poor, poured, boiling hot water down her throat. Her mama, uh, Victoria Lett, came home and didn't recognize the little girl. Say her shoulder was swollen, her neck, her head. The girl got internal damage. You know what I mean? Like, why you do the baby like that? The baby messed up for the rest of her life. Bro, this is your own daughter, bro. No, that's just what I mean. Like, man, we all here and it's like demons and monsters, bro. Like, what the fuck is wrong with the world, bro? What the fuck is wrong with the world? And I'm going to get to my point in a minute, right? I'm going to get to my point in a minute about all of this, right? But this dude right here. Mr. Eugene Sneed down there in the Mobile, Alabama area. These are the kind of dudes that you're supposed to be waiting on when they're coming in there. Not the hot dudes or whatever who told and all that. Oh, he a snitch. Not, not, this is worse, bro. These are the kind of dudes who ain't never supposed to see no compound, bro. You know what I mean? He ain't get charged with attempted. He, he ain't charged with child endangerment. That's the charges. Child endangerment. Really? Really? Child endangerment, man, I know Alabama got a lot going on in the prison system. I'm going to do a video on that. But, man, when y'all you know, when y'all open back up down there, and uh, I don't know if y'all know, man, they down there, they get two meals a day. They say the food is, ain't even made for consumption, for human consumption. The water, they say don't drink the water. The, the guards been down there killing dudes for years, and they've been getting away with this shit. So Alabama, all the prisoners just went on lockdown. The whole state of Alabama prison system is on lockdown. So we're going to do a video on that coming up pretty soon. I got to do my research. But this dude, Eugene Lamont Sneed, man, I put his picture up and down in the bottom, bro, so everybody can see this nigga face. You know what I'm saying? See this dumbass nigga face, bro. You know what I mean? I, I'm a kind of dude, let me just be honest with you. I don't mean to attack the dude like that because I don't know what he's going through. Because in my mind, it, it might not have been him. You know what I mean? To me, it's like this, this mental illness shit that's going on in the world is going on too much. With the homeless people. You know what I mean? Now you see people are homeless, you be like, damn. Nine out of ten homeless people you see, they got some kind of crazy mental shit going on in their head. They be doing something, you be like, man, they're crazy. So let me ask you this. Do you think the mental illness part comes before homelessness or after? I mean, I know drugs got a lot to do with it. But you think before or after when these do people really go crazy? I know it's a known fact that if you don't get the proper malnutrition and all that, it, it affects your brain. So, I mean, so I think it's a little 50-50, but to me, I think that it's more you you mainly lose your mind when you're out there in them streets. Some people say, nah, to be out in the streets, you have already lost your mind, but I kind of look at it the other way. Because trauma and whatever can make you just snap or whatever, and I, I know that's losing your mind too, but... I think to maintain and to be out there in the street and you can't get a, to get a meal when you want to, I think it kind of affects your whole where you don't come back. You know what I'm saying? So this mental illness shit is going on in the world. And I don't know what's going on. Like that, man, they done put damn near law in every state where these restaurants that throws away tons of food every year can't get his food to the homeless people. It's just too much going on in the world. Like, who make our laws, bro? Who make these laws where the restaurants throwing away food? Can't give it to them. Y'all understand about the, the food poisoning and the, and the, you know, the how long did the food, but who cares the fuck about the that when you can save thousands? I mean, you know what I mean? This homeless shit is like, it's just crazy all over the, over the country. You know what I'm saying? Let me get to the next topic. I don't know if y'all heard. Two dead, eight injured. As a man go crazy on the Las Vegas Strip. You know what I mean? His name was Yoni Barrows. He, uh, he's out of California. 
He originally went down to uh, NBLCA. It's like a sister station of Telemundo over in L.A. And he ran into Mr. Jorge Lopez. He told Mr. He was trying to get Mr. Lopez to give him a job, say he'd do anything. Uh, he lost everything he had. He just wanted to get an opportunity. So, you know, Mr. Lopez, well, okay, I can't really help you. I'm not, you know, I'm not entering once, you know, whatever. So the dude comes over to Vegas. He goes to the win and try to get a job with the same spiel. I lost everything. I just need an opportunity, blah, blah, blah. And you know how they do. You know, they speak to you. Oh, okay, don't put it up. You know, mm -hmm. This man goes out on a Las Vegas strip. Now, he had a, a set of knives. That he's, yeah, I guess he tried to sell them to somebody inside the win or something. Like, there was just prize knives or something, kitchen knives. So he goes out on the strip. You know, the strip got the showgirls be walking around. They got the feathers and stuff and whatever. They take pictures with the guests, you know, make the only hustle. So he goes up, I guess, try to get the picture with one of the girls or something. And he didn't like how the girls was treating him. They, he said they was laughing at his clothes. and You know what I mean? So he goes in his bag and pulled out a 12-inch kitchen knife. And goes to town on the showgirls, bro. You know what I mean? He got one down. And rest in peace to uh, Miss Maris Maureen D. Giovanni, bro. You know what I mean? He kills her. Uh, her friend, uh, Anna Westby, runs. So he gets up off of her and goes and hit Anna Westby with the knife. Then he looks down the strip and just goes and starts chasing people with a knife, right? And he end up uh, he end up stabbing Brent uh, Hallett in the back, 47 years old from Vegas, which wasn't even looking, kills him. So he kills uh, Maris, that's M-A-R-I-S, uh, Maureen D. Giovanni, and Brent Hallett. Man, rest in peace, man. And our, uh, our condol my condolences goes out to your families here in Las Vegas and wherever y'all from. Man, we so sorry to hear about this. You know what I'm saying? But this dude go crazy. He stabs eight people, bro. And shout out to Miss Anna Wesby, man, uh, Maris's friend, the other show girl. She got stabbed. She had a punctured lung. And she went over there and tried to save her friend life and stop the bleeding and stuff like that before she passed out from the collapsed lung herself on top of her friend. Bro, imagine being a tourist, bro, and walking around. You're like, what is going on? You just in Vegas having a good time, bro, being a tourist, and this is what you got to see? Last year was a couple of incidents with the homeless people, bro. Shootings and stabbings and more shit last year, bro. Like, what is going on in this world, man? What is going on? Now, the reason I did these current affairs, right? I did these current affairs, right? Because to tell you, man, when you go behind them walls, these are the kind of dudes you locked up with. You got a thousand inmates or something in most of these penitentiaries, 1,200, 500 will kill you on GP, bro. For stepping on their shoe or this and that. They just they just angry. They tired of you. They don't even want to be in population. They want to go to ADX. So all of y'all who don't know what ADX is, that's the uh uh supermax prison in Colorado inside of a mountain. You can find to your cell, bro. Your shower's in the cell. Your TV in the cell. So a lot of dudes were like, shit, I get my TV in my cell. I'm trying to go there. What I got to do to get there? Kill one of these mugs? Okay, I can do that. Yeah. Yeah. Think I ain't heard nobody tell my man, I said, I'd rather be in ADX. I'm on, I want to go to ADX anyway. What, what, what's up? What, what y'all what trying to do? Come on, bro. This is what you around. So all you people ain't never been to jail. I'm trying to paint a picture for you. All this craziness going on out here and stuff. You can leave and you can go into your house. You can close your door and you can you got weapons. You can protect your family. Imagine being locked up with these fools, bro. Imagine being locked up with them. When you got to wake up with them, they sleep next to you. 
When you go in the child hall, they all in there. Yeah, we'll kill you on GP. You feel what I'm saying? That's why I went, I did some current affairs to show y'all that, that these people that, that do this type of shit, this who you in there with. This who you in there with. <laughs> who wants to go to jail, bro? Who wants to go to jail? Man, let me tell you about two weeks ago, bro, I think I killed a pigeon in the car. You know how they fly and I hit it and something and I, I don't know if it survived or not. Man, I've been, I'm soft as a motherfucker. Man, I've been messed up ever since. Thinking if I could have avoided it or whatever. You know, I'm like, man, these pigeons now, they be in the road, man. They won't even fly out the way they walk. So, you know, the maximum speed, if you speed, you just, you know, you see them dead all the time. So I think I hit one on, bro. I'm mad to my man. I told my wife, like, damn, she looking at me like, uh, you gonna worry about that? I'm like, yeah, I'm worried about that. I killed a pigeon. You know what I mean? I'm just your soft ass husband. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But get back to the subject, bro. You know what I mean? Don't be talking shit about me. Let's get back to the subject. Check this out, bro. This dude went on a strip and just started stabbing people. He tried to kill as many people as he could. When you see these dudes, like, go shoot up the school full of kids. Go to the post office because they fired them, bro. Your well-being, bro, and your, 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 your dependency and your, I mean, your independence. You know, to take care of your family and yourself. Dudes will lose everything to not to be able to do that, bro. If they can't take care of themselves and their family, they just be like, man, I'm ready to die. I'm ready to die. What is going on? It's more on this world than being able to do that. You lose everything financially, man. You still ain't. You still all right. This dude's in that jail, man. Got nobody, and they still all right. They just made. They doing whatever. They in there like, I'm, okay, I'm gonna get out one day. I'm gonna be all right. But it's still half of the dudes in there will kill you over nothing. Half of them dudes in there, all the shit that you hear about on these streets, where you think them people go? They go in there. So do you want to do something to go in there with them? You want to wake up looking at these dudes every day? Half of the dudes you walk past, what can't wait to kill you? Come on, man. They can't wait to kill you. Ain't no stats for all the shit that goes on in there. Ain't no stats. They don't report all the shit that goes on in there. Ain't no stats. Shit going on in there every day. They ain't reporting that shit every day. Who want to be in there with them? All you people who ain't never been to jail, you see all this craziness, and you think you can go home, and you can go home and close your door, blah, 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 you can block everything out. Imagine the people who can't. They got to wake up with these fools every day. Do not go to jail. Symbolic Mind Generation. Hit that like button.